Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Deputy of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Ghadibiya Palace. The Royal Highness has affirmed that the development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is witnessing constant progress in various fields based on an ambition or ambitious vision to meet the aspirations of citizens and improve the quality of services provided to them. They stress that supporting service projects and infrastructure and working on enhancing the pace of completion is a priority in the development plan adopted by the government. The Royal Highness has affirmed the importance of preserving the environment resources and marine resources to ensure sustainability and development. The Royal Highness has reviewed a number of regional and international developments and affirmed that Bahrain supports efforts to achieve security and stability throughout the region and the world for its belief that construct constructive and positive cooperation is the best way to achieve peace and prosperity. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister congratulated the administrative, educational and academic authorities as well as students in various educational stages on the occasion of the advent of the new school 2019-2020 year, wishing them success. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Education to serve the educational march in the Kingdom. The Cabinet discussed the administrative and academic preparations of the Ministry for the new school year. The Cabinet called on utilizing religious occasions, including Ashura, to maintain national unity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, as well as the Ministry of Health to follow up on the needs of areas where religious events take place during the current season. The cabinet directs to take the measures that preserve the environment and to stop any practices that threaten it. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister directed the ministries and concerned authorities to follow up on the projects of developing the infrastructure and needs of all the kingdom's governance and to follow up on the projects that are currently being implemented in various areas. His Royal Highness directed the service ministries to follow up on all citizens' complaints to resolve them immediately and to increase direct meetings with citizens to achieve their satisfaction with all services, affirming that improving government services and achieving citizens' needs are among the government's priorities. The Cabinet approved a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Housing on continuing the implementation of East Sitra Town Project. 
The cabinet also approved the recommendation of the Civil Service Council led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier to simplify the organizational structure of the General Authority for Social Insurance, Education and Training Quality Authority and the Institute of Public Administration, which is in line with the government's approach to decrease the number of administrative positions and supporting administrative units. The Cabinet approved the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments assuming of the duties and powers uh, prescribed for the Personal Data Protection Authority. It also approved the Justice Ministers assuming the duties and powers prescribed for the Authority's Board of Directors and its President. The Cabinet reviewed a report submitted by the Minister of Education on the Kingdom's winning first place on the Arab level and third place on the North Africa and Middle East level in the report of the Boston Consulting Group on the Evaluation of Sustainable Economic Development. The Cabinet affirmed the government's keenness on supporting the educational march and its main role in development, hailing the efforts exerted in the field by the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training. The signing of two agreements has been approved, the first on air services between Bahrain and Spain and the second on air services between Bahrain and the Maldives and beyond their territories. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs the Memorandum of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on a proposal of excluding trainers, athletes and sports judges from the application of the provisions of labor law in the civil section number 36 of the year 2012. The Cabinet referred to the Legislative Authority a draft law on decreasing the consumption of energy drinks submitted by the Shura Council. The government's response prepared by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council regarding the formation of a committee specialized in guiding students towards majors required by the labor market after graduation. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadabiya Palace the United Kingdom's ambassador to Bahrain, Radi Dramond, to meet His Royal Highness upon his appointment as the new ambassador to the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the ambassador on his appointment, wishing him success in his new duties to enhance bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness affirmed that cooperation between Bahrain and the UK witnesses development at all levels in light of the long and distinguished history of friendship based on mutual understanding and respect. He stressed Bahrain's keenness to develop cooperation with the UK through expanding existing partnerships and opening up new areas of cooperation that serve common interests. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in strengthening relations between the two countries in various fields and affirmed his country's keenness to strengthen relations between the two friendly countries. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated the new branch of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority in Rafah. On the occasion, His Highness affirmed the government said the government's keenness to support all initiatives and projects that provide services which benefit all citizens, praising the efforts exerted by the authority in providing services in a facilitated and developed manner to achieve quality and excellence. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Wasama bin Abdullah Al Absi expressed thanks and appreciation to the Southern Governor for patronizing the opening ceremony of the new branch. He also pointed out that the new branch comes in line with the directive of the government regarding uh, facilitating the development of services, procedures and improving the accuracy of transactions. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain calls upon all citizens currently in the Lebanese Republic to leave promptly. This comes following the latest security developments in the area which require taking all the necessary measures to ensure safety. The ministry reiterates its previous statements which warn against traveling to the Lebanese Republic in order to protect citizens from all dangers and ensure their safety. For assistance, please call the following numbers. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Hashemid Kingdom of Jordan, 00962-6566-4148 or 00962-7940. 
1554000. Ministry of Foreign Affairs follow up office is 24 7 open 00 973 1722 7555.